this is Tracy HD, and we're here to do the April 2015 monthly tarot reading for the sign of Leo. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking that all angels, light beings, and God please relay the message to me that I may share with our viewers for the highest good of all. And you take a card off the top for the beginning of the month. You will take a card out of the center for the middle of the month. And we'll take the card from the bottom for the end of the month. And we have a reversal here. Okay. We, dear Leo, are going to start the month out with the high priest. And the high priest sits there in his red robe. He's surrounded by two pillars, columns in the background. And he has his hand raised up. And when I look at this high priest, the first thing that comes to my mind with him Okay, that there's questions in your life that you need answers and advice on. Whatever it is, dear Leo, that you're questioning, this may be a sign for you to actually, you know, maybe get some legal advice or some type of counseling. You're not able to figure out the answers by yourself to whatever it is that you're going through right now. May this be a family matter. May this be something affecting your career. This high priest here is telling us to, you know, there is help out there if you need it. You just have to ask. There's some times that we need to lean on people. Sometimes we need someone to put a pair of fresh eyes on the situation and, and maybe see something that we don't. Sometimes when we're caught up in a situation. We can't view it in its entirety because we're involved in it. But sometimes if you step back, and look at it, kind of like a picture on the wall. If you're standing too close to it, you can't see all the detail. But when you step back and you look at that artwork, like something's just, you know, strike you that you don't necessarily notice when it's right under your nose. This is urging you that if there's any kind of legal matters to attend to, any type of counseling that you may want to seek, this would be the perfect time to do it. Uh, this person here may be the person that would be able to give you the advice that you need. Like I said, it doesn't have to be anything legal. Um, it could be just, you know, maybe family therapy, maybe marriage counseling. Um, it's some type of a problem that's bogging you down this month that you really need to ask someone else for their opinion on. You may consider the advice of a friend enough at this point for you to be able to help yourself with. But don't be scared if it comes down to it where you do have to seek outside help uh, from a professional. They could see your story, your situation in a more neutral light. So don't be scared to ask for help. Don't be scared to ask for someone's opinion on whatever it is that's perplexing you in the beginning of this month. And then we have the middle of the month and we have an upside down reversed page of swords and he's a young boy. Uh, this page of swords, uh, you know, he has a, a weapon in his hand. He has a sword, of course. And when you think of a sword, you think of something sharp. Uh, when I look at him, I'm thinking he's young. I would say that this could represent maybe an energy in the middle of the month. It doesn't necessarily have to, you know, stand for someone or something that's, you know, of this person's age. This person, usually the pages represent someone who's a young child, someone just starting out. The page of swords to me reminds me of someone that wouldn't have much experience. This may represent you. It may be a situation where whatever you're dealing with early in the month, you don't have much experience with. But with it upside down, with it reversed, the Page of Swords, to me, what I'm getting when I look deeply in this card, you know, right side up, you'd see the sky up here, and it's blue. And, you know, of course, he's upside down, so the sky is downward. When I look at this, I think of somebody using physical force, some type of physical force that's not necessary. Something could occur that... You may want to take a deep breath before you take any action on. This is something where you don't want to just react in a hasty manner. Uh, this page of swords 
basically, you know, if it was upright, it means the end of some type of conflict in your life, which would signify this card, whatever it is you're, you're dealing with, whatever problem you're dealing with here, this guy here is telling us that basically it's still going to be rough. I, I can't candy coat it. Whatever the situation is, it's still going to be tense. It's still going to be stressful, whatever it is. Um, but refrain from doing something that you're going to regret. Refrain from using harsh words. Refrain from seeking revenge or action against whoever or whatever is, is bothering you at this point. Step back, like I said, take a deep breath. Try to be more responsive and less reactive because it's not going to straighten the situation out. It's only going to make it worse. So hopefully whoever it is that's giving you advice, whether it be a friend, family member, counselor, take their word. Don't act out on your own because sometimes we feel, oh, what do they know? They don't know what I'm going through. They're not walking a mile in my shoes. No, trust in the middle of the month. Have some self-control. You don't want to do something that you're going to regret or act harshly and say something that you can't take back. And then, dear Leo, at the end of the month, we have the King of Swords. Okay, and this King of Swords here, very serious looking guy. He has his armor on. He has his sword held high. It's pointing upward. He's sitting there on his throne. In the background, it's kind of like foggy or misty. It's not very clear. This man's an authority figure. Okay, and this could, like I said, represent a man or woman in your life. Even though there's a man appearing on the card, it doesn't have to be a man. It could be a woman. This could very much be you. Okay, this person here is a very just person. He, he's logical. He reasons things out. He would be a very fair leader because he has very good judgment, this man. Um, basically, what I get from him is you need to be aware of your actions because you may have to answer for them. Just like the middle card is telling you to be careful, don't take any rash accent actions, this man here is again still telling you to be aware of your actions. Okay, you don't want this to end up being worse than it has to be, whatever situation it is that you're dealing with. Act with integrity and honor, okay? You have to make the best choices that you can. You have to, you know, based on what you know, what knowledge you have, take the right action. Like I said, you don't want to act rashly. You don't want to act out of anger or emotion and then regret what it is that you did or said because then you can't take it back. It only makes the wounds deeper. Uh, so basically, this card here is, you know, trying to tell you to be fair. You know, be fair to yourself, be fair to whoever it is that's, you know, maybe causing you this drama or this problem. Sit back, take it all in, you know, be fair, use your reasoning, your proper reasoning, use logic, you know, and, and, and just basically be ethical. Don't do anything that you're going to regret. He's here to warn you of that. So, again, there's a problem in the beginning of the month that's perplexing. Don't do anything that's going to make it worse. Sometimes when you're not sure what to do, it's just better to just sit back, step back from it, leave it on the back burner. And when you least suspect it, a solution to the problem will arise. But if it's a situation that you have no, no control over, you know, try not to take matters into your own hands to try to rectify it as soon as possible. Sometimes these things take time to work themselves out. Everything happens in divine timing, and I believe everything happens for a reason. So whatever it is you're going through, dear Leo, I want you to restrain yourself. Don't say anything or do anything that you're going to regret because it's only going to make the situation worse. And don't be scared to ask for counsel. If you've enjoyed this reading, please subscribe to my channel because I will be back. Take care.